What up people rush up here It's Sunday morning I am thinking of working on this setup Improving the background Putting on some lights It's gonna be a long day So let's just get into it So first things first I search on YouTube How to do lighting And setup For beginners after a few hours of research oh, Let's just get into it So I don't like this particularly large desk in my background It's a remaining part from the desk transformation video which I did That you can check out right here So let's flip this, maybe remove the doors, yes this looks much better. Next let's stuff some things inside with a nice practical lighting. Turns out I don't have a lot of stuff, this is all I got and I'm out. So this right here is called a practical light in all the YouTube videos that I watched regarding this lighting setup a practical light was something that is kept in the background to add more color dynamic range to the frame now since i made this desk stood up i am out of a side table so let's put a side table over here there we go and add the side table stuff onto it much better now that we are done with the background let's focus on the front lights so according to the tutorial we need at least two or three sources of light from the front there's your key light which is your main focus light then we have your fill light which is like a ambient light which fills the other part of your face then the key light and lastly there's an optional borderline light or that's what it's called basically it's kind of high above and it puts a white shadow on your shoulders and your hairline uh, which separates you from the background for the key light i have this i know it's a terrible compared to the real key light one important thing which i saw in one of the tutorials was the key light should be higher than your face level in the case when i'm sitting the key light is perfect it's right on top so it shines the light from the top but in the case when i'm standing and shooting over there this key light is not at a good level it's right at my face which isn't good now i don't have a fill light for the borderline light i will try to use that bulb that's on the ceiling okay so it's not too too bright and it's not too too dark so hopefully it casts enough of a shadow to make me pop from the background finally we got ourselves three lights over here three light setup there's a practical light at the back there's a key light and then there's the borderline light it zooms out every time i show it yeah so the next step is to draw the curtains dim everything and try out our new setup so yeah this is the final setup i think it turned out pretty decent considering what we were working with how much depth we had and the less number of lights so in the end i didn't end up using light bulb on the ceiling it was casting a lot of light on the background which i didn't require apart from that i replaced the key light the smaller bulb with a much bigger one it's now like a t bulb so it projects a lot more light on this side of my face and since we don't have any fill light this side kind of remains a bit darker so it gives a dramatic effect as well and lastly i also turned on the ring light that is attached to my webcam so that is also kind of completing the look giving me the final fill from the front let me know in the comments what do you guys think of this new setup that we created today until the next one namaste